Good morning, my name is Scott Hippie. I'm here to present to you my full art workflow with Exocad, Desk and Panthera. So a little bit about me to start with. I've been a dental technician for 13 years, working with digital for about nine years using a range of CAD systems. Currently in the process of setting up my own lab, Alien Dental, also doing a lot of lab-to-lab -lab design work and a lot of lecturing and training. I provide a lot of one-to-one -one, hands-on digital courses for both labs and, and clinics up and down the UK. I started training abroad as well, doing courses in Germany, Poland, Spain, etc. I started working with CERMET in the UK in 2021, providing digital courses on ExoCAD in their purpose-built training facility. I have a passion for what I do, really enjoy pushing myself and trying to improve my skills and helping others. So the basics of my full art workflow. 99% of the time we're using multi-unit abutments which makes the job a lot easier. I like to use the desk scan flags which they give me the option of exporting the STL of the design with the interface of the multi-unit abutments. So I can print, 3D print triads direct to the multi-unit abutments and which can be used as um, to check the function, occlusion, smile, line, two shape, size, etc. The, the printed try-ins can be adjusted chair side and sent back to the lab so we can scan those back in, produce a second try-in and it's very easy to, to, to do. Uh, another reason I, I like to use DESK over other, other uh, scan bodies is the ability to switch libraries from direct to multi-unit to tie bases, angled, straight, they cover a lot of solutions. For my milling, I love to use Panthera uh, Panthera bars. They are the, considered the masters of milling, based in Canada. The quality of their bars are much better than I've seen anywhere else. They can do anything from simple bars, thimble bars, and also very com complex fixed removable bars with attachments, etc. When they arrive back in the lab, there's never any need for adjustment. They come back perfect, perfectly finished. You can have them just in metal. You can have them sandblasted, anodized, my personal favourite is a silica coating, which they can paint the thimble cores yellow and the ginger area pink. It saves time for opaquing, so it's a lot easier for me in the lab. Also, the silica coating offers a sprayer bond for the final crowns. So here are some Panthera bars. The bottom left are some bars I had in the lab, and the bottom right is the first bar I ever had milled with Panthera about a year and a half ago. And it it's just amazing when it came back in the lab. So to use Panthera, you need to download the Panthera library on ExoCAD. So when selecting your implant library, at the very top, if you select download more libraries, you can find Panthera on the download list. So just click the link, it will automatically install it to the correct location. And with Panthera, you can use both DES and ELOS scan bodies. So here are some examples of my 3D printed try-ins. So this is going to be a short video showing the design of a 3D printed try-in using the DES scan bodies. So for the, for the implant locations, we select anatomic crown, screw retained, and make sure to click preserve tooth library shape, that's very important. So in this case, we have six implants, and then the remaining teeth will be pontix. I do have some demo um, 3D printed trines if you want to have a look later, come and ask. So here we um, load the case straight in, put it through the virtual articulator. I always put all my work through virtual articulator from single crowns to full arches. And then here we can de detect the scan bodies. So again, I'll just use the desk direct multi unit abutment library. I like the, the desk scan bodies, they align very easily.
So here we do your emergency profile with the multi appointments, they're usually tissue level, so you can just go next, next, next. And then we get to tooth placement. I do the majority of my work using the advanced placement tools. Just pick a nice library. For the anteriors, I would normally do one half and then mirror the, the, the teeth to the adjacent side to get perfect symmetry. So here I'm using an existing denture to help with this setup. So I'm, I'm using the grid in the background to get um, a, a nice frontal view and I'll lock that in with a custom view on the bottom right hand side. So any time I move the model, I can click that custom view and it'll snap back to the frontal view. So here I'll quickly place some teeth. On the latest ExoCAD, it has the feature to deepen and flatten the anatomy of any tooth library. That's a very cool feature. For single arches, posterior teeth, I will do each one individually. If it was a full form, I would set up tooth one to six and then mirror the whole six teeth. So I've got one half set, I'm now gonna mirror those anterior teeth. It copies the shape and size and flips them. It doesn't put it in the correct location, so you still have to manually position. And after that, you've got um, a final setup. So it's just the, the software's treatment is 12 Pontics. We don't have to worry about the implant locations or anything like that. So now we'll do a virtual gingiva. So we'll do a quick block out. For this, I'll just use the default ExoCAD settings, nothing special. Once that is complete, we can do a gingiva design. So a quick outline of where we want the pink to go. And that will give us a basic looking gingiva. And then we can freeform that. I don't spend a lot of time freeforming gingiva, purely for the fact that I can't reproduce that for the final. So I'll just quickly pull up and close the triangles. I'll use the wax knife tool to put a little bit of a gingiva ridge. And that's about it. So I'd spend five, ten minutes just free from the ginger. So here you can see I'm using the point of knife tool to add a ginger ridge. And I'll, I'll go back and remove underneath in a second. And I think it's a very quick quick way to make the ginger look um, a lot better in a very short amount of time. Also if you have the true smile option, that helps a lot with the ginger ball freeforming, it looks a lot better when it's in pink. And then after five, ten minutes, you can get something looking like that. So at the minute, we've got 12 floating teeth and some ginger that's coming through the model. And then we can generate a virtual wax up scan, which will connect all the components together, adapt it to the implants and adapt it to the soft tissue. And here we can freeform the thing as a solid piece, just smoothen out the edges. For 3D printed try-ins, I take the tissue or the basal off the tissue by half a millimeter so when it's being screwed into the mouth because there's no metal components it stops any interference from the tissue and let's quickly put the screw channels in And there is the finished uh, 3D printed try -in. It's very easy if you get an adjusted try -in, 
just to scan it back in, load the case back up, and then you can just delete reconstructions and quickly make a second try in. It only takes about 10 minutes. So this next video will convert that into a thin bowl bar. So we load the case back up. We save the scene with just the model and the wax up as an STL. We save that as an approved try-in. So we can bring that back in as a pre-op scan. I always save with the model just in case the alignment's off. And I can use the model to align the scans together. So now the pre-op scan's back in, we can delete the um, approved try-in um, restoration and get back to the white and pink. So my Thimble workflow is not the ExoCAD version. This is something I've developed over the past few years. I think it's a lot easier because with the ExoCAD Thimbles, you can use certain libraries to reduce them to Thimbles. With this, I can use any library. So here I'm back to the pink and white. I've got um, a custom Thimble library. If you want this, just come and speak to me, I can send it to you. So now I load the Thimbles and then I position those using the tooth placement and just position them under the pre op scan. So again, it's very quick just to resize them. There's no need to freeform these, just, just position them, resize them. I always make sure the margin of the thimble is a mil, a mil or two below the um, gingival ridge on the pre-op. So when I do the final crowns, I can put a bit of stain around the neck, put a pink composite over the top and it gives it a nice effect. So here I'll use a 2D cross section just to make sure I've left enough space for the final crowns. So let's say when I send the bar to Panthera, if I design it perfect, it comes back perfect and there's nothing for me to do. So here we've got the thin balls, we've got the old gingiver. I just quickly freeform the gingiver to expose the margins of, mar margins of the thin balls. You can use the reduce gingiver option or you can recalculate the gingiver. There's several different ways to do it, um, but I find this just quite quick just to remove it. So all I'm focusing on is exposing the margins of the thin balls. I actually have here this exact design milled in normal you know, metal finish and a sort of coating, so feel free to pass those around. So once the margins of the thimbles are exposed, I'm not too fussed about the rest of the ginger, I can just select OK. And now I can generate a new virtual wax up scan. So again, this will connect the thimbles to the ginger, back to the implant, and again adapt it to the soft tissue. So it doesn't look very pretty now. And then we go back into the wizard and we freeform this as a solid piece. So this is the most time consuming part of the bar design. I'd spend about 30 minutes getting this looking nice. I would have a nice smooth basal area, which would be highly polished titanium that sits on the tissue. And then I use the cylinder tool and the pointed knife wax tool to put in ledges. So I've got a nice finishing butt joint for the composite and a little collar on the back. So that takes, the whole process takes probably 30, 30 to 45 minutes and then that's the final design of the bar. Again just put the screw channels in, send that to Panthera. It's very easy to send to Panthera, you can connect via um, the ExoCAD dental share. So you can load the case in the ExoCAD, press dental share, select production, send it to Panthera and the STR automatically goes to Panthera.
So this, the quick final video is doing the final crowns. So once the, once the bar's back in, we can scan the bar back in on a new case, and then you load the old case back up, we approve trying, and save just the teeth and the model as an STL. So here, this is where we're scanning the new bar. So for this, we are just selecting 12 wax up crowns. We go straight into design. So this is the scanned in bar. As you can see on my models, I like to cut notches in to make alignment more precise and easily, easier. So I can load in the teeth STL saved from the approved trying. Using the model, I can align the teeth over the thimble preps. So now the teeth are in the exact location they were on the approved trying. So anything on that green mesh will copy on the final restoration. So now I need to edit that mesh. So I'm going to select the 12 teeth. The reason I highlight the 12 teeth and crop them is to delete any bits of floating mesh that could be somewhere around. And these are 12 pontics. So now I cut the bottoms off so the software treats them as crowns more easily. And then it's just a case of drawing uh, 12 margin lines and the software will copy the teeth exactly as they were on the approved trial. So yeah, that's the final margin line. And then select, do, do the crown bottoms. Always do the thimble crowns on five axis mode, so you don't have to set the insertion direction for each tooth. And here you can see the software will just copy exactly. So it gives you a nice predictable result from the trying stage to the final, it's exactly the same. So I always recommend making sure you get to a stage where your trying is perfect. So most of the time we would do two try-ins, but occasionally you do three or four, because there's no point proceeding until your printed try is perfect. And then at this stage, you can put the screw holes in. So we can only put holes in at three, four merge restoration stage at the end. Make sure you tick allow any changes box. Use a subtraction attachment and just put the holes where they need to be. And there's the final crowns. That part of the process takes 10 minutes. <laughs>